So today we're going to do a review of Between Shades of Grey by Rebus of Pettis. Now this is a book that you guys chose for me to read in my last month's viewer's choice and I'm so so glad you did because I love this book. Um, I'm actually kind of nervous about doing this review because I love this book so much and I have tried to do it like six times already and failed to say anything important because I just can't get over how much I love this book. Like. I feel like it's one of those books that's just important to read. You know, like Anne Frank's diary is important to read, but this is important to read in the sense that it's like, it has the same historical significance. It's a an event, um, a time period that's overlooked very often because because of World War II. So I just I just want to talk about how much I think everyone should read this book. Basically, I'm not going to say anything bad about it because there is nothing bad to say. So this book is about a girl named Lena, and her and her family are uprooted from their comfortable life in Lithuania um, during the Soviet occupation of Lithuania. So they're sent away because they might have contacts outside of Lithuania, they're worried that they're working with other groups, and um, they end up basically in concentration camps. Um, they're not concentration camps because it's not World War II, but it's very similar, so if you think along those lines, they end up working in this like potato farm kind of thing. Um, they almost freeze to death like eight times, um, a lot of people die, it's really sad, and it's very eye-opening as well. So I thought this book was going to be, pro I, thought, I thought this book would be a little bit more commercial, I thought that the love story was going to be more a part of it, and it wasn't, and I'm really glad that it wasn't, because to have the emphasis be on anything else would have been wrong, I feel. I felt that this was just so important. Ah, I can't get over it. I, I, it's, it seems like this is very overlooked in that like it happens right about the same time as World War II, and so whenever people are talking about this time period, they think about the Holocaust, they think about Hitler, and you know the Jews in the concentration camps. And I feel like I can say this because I'm Jewish, but that's really overhyped. Like, I get the point. I've been to the Holocaust Museum. I've read all the Holocaust books. Like. I am very appreciative of them and I think it's really important to read those books, but I also think that it's really important to read this book and it's really important to branch out and look at other parts of that time period and look at other things that were going on because there are so many victims that we don't even know about. I didn't even know that this was, that this happened until I read this book. And so I just, I want everyone to go and read this book. So I'm going to try to talk a little bit about it without saying the word important and without just talking about how much I loved it. So, the characters in this book were phenomenal. Lena's a really strong main character. She's very, very determined to survive and very determined to find her father and keep her family together, which I thought was really admirable. And I really enjoyed that aspect of this book. The love interest, his name is Andreas, and he is another um, refugee. He's, he's living with his mother and he's kind of, off-putting at first, like I, we first meet him and you're like, oh, what a dick, but he really grows as a character during the, during the, uh, the story, and I think that was really admirable, and then I also really liked that the romance wasn't a huge part of the story. I liked that it was something that was building, but it hadn't, it doesn't really ever happen in the story. There's an epilogue and we find out kind of what happens later and so on and so forth, but I thought that that was so, such a nice, like, it was nicely woven into the story without being the main focus, which I think is what we find in YA so often these days, is it's all about the romance. There's like a love triangle, there always has to be one. And in this, I just thought it was so tastefully done and so effective in that it, it made me want her to get through everything. I mean, I wanted her to get through everything anyway because she's the main character, but it gave me an extra reason. I wanted her to survive things so that she could go back and be with him. And I wanted her family to survive. So, I thought that her little brother was a really good character too. He's kind of, doesn't really know what's going on, but he slowly is learning what's going on. He, he knows a lot more than he's letting on, I think. And he was a great character, he's very sweet, and I felt so sorry for him like, the entire time. Um, so the characters are fantastic in this story. The villains are all portrayed very nicely because some of them are very evil and so on, but then there are others who you just have to question do they really know what's going on? It's like, there are those characters that you read about in like, you know, World War II stories that are part of the Nazi party, but you wonder, do they really know that what they're doing is wrong? And I know that's not an excuse, but like, there's, there are more facets to these characters than you would think, and I think that's really important. 
So this book was fantastic. Um, the plot was beautiful. I thought it was really well done in pacing. Um, the story is kind of told in really short chapters, which I enjoyed because it meant that I could get through a chapter in like two minutes. So I could be sitting there before class and like read a chapter and it wasn't a problem. And there weren't like major cliffhangers so I didn't feel like I had to read like 80 chapters at once, but I did feel like I wanted to read 80 chapters at once, but I didn't have to. You know, it was a really nice feeling. So that was really great. Um, it's also written half in like what's happening now in terms of like the Soviet what's it, and then what happened before the occupation. So there are little flashbacks to how her life was before and things that she may have said that then parallel things that she says later. Or her, um, she's an artist and so she talks a lot about her art and her drawings and how those develop and that I thought was a really cool element to just kind of weave through. The writing in this book was phenomenal. I don't know if you've ever experienced a book where when you just don't notice the writing and I find I think that is the sign of a good writer when you don't notice that the writing's amazing until after you read it and you're really examining it. If you notice the writing and you're like there's some interesting elements being used here sometimes it can be a good thing and sometimes it's not a good thing but when you don't notice, I think that's the sign of a very, very well, well, that's, that's a sign of very good craftsmanship, I think. Because if you don't notice it, it means there's nothing wrong with it. Or there's nothing particularly out, that stands out to you so much. And it's just, it's natural. And I thought that was fantastic. Also, there's a pocket watch in the back, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, there are lots of covers of this book, though, so... Mm. The only thing I can say about this book that wasn't phenomenal was I felt weird reading it in public because a lot of people would probably think that it was Fifty Shades of Grey and I didn't really want that to happen so I just kind of read it inside all the time which is too bad because this is a really good book and I wanted to share it with everyone and make everyone read it but now I feel weird trying to let it out to people because they're like it's not that book with all the sex and the handcuffs and stuff and I'm like no it's a book about something totally amazing and different and there is no sex. So that's what I want to say is that it's it's a different kind of book. It's not something you typically see in YA, it's not something you typically see in adult, and I think it's just it's just really important that everyone who watches this video reads this book. That's all I have to say about that. We're done. Okay. If you've read this book, let me know below in the comments and we can talk about it. If you have not read this book, what are you waiting for? Go out and do so immediately. Now I command you. Bam.